the CNN Broadcast Center in New York, this is American Morning with Soledad O'Brien and Bill Himmer. Also from California this morning, they're trying to balance a blimp and it's proving to be quite a task. It's taking place in Long Beach. The AmeriQuest blimp was tethered for the night, then it tipped forward, kind of nose first. Fire officials think it might be overpressurized. The airship is part of a public arts project sponsored by AmeriQuest Mortgage Company. No reports of any injuries at this point. All right, take a look at the scene. That is the AmeriQuest blimp. As you can plainly see, the blimp is having some difficulty getting straight and level. This is not at all a dangerous situation. Check out that cool paint job on that airship at Williams Gateway Airport. It's called the AmeriQuest Soaring Dreams, and it is painted by thousands of children across the country. Big dreams took flight today with the launch of what's billed as the biggest public art project in the world. There is a work of art in the sky this summer, the most colorful airship you've ever seen. Look at that blimp. I know, beautiful, huh? I'm going to get out of the way in like five seconds so I can show you all of it. Great story today. We're talking about portraits of hope, and I want to show you a beautiful portrait right behind me. We're taking a look at the blimp here, and this is the largest blimp in America. We're looking at an amazingly beautiful, kind of poochy print. And the next scheduled appearance of Soaring Dreams is at AmeriQuest Field in Arlington, Texas. May 28th. Bobby Gritch here. And Bob, you want to talk about the AmeriQuest airship that we've been seeing floating around here. And Bob, why is AmeriQuest teaming with Portraits of Hope for the project? Portrait of Hope is the group that actually had this idea. They've done other, other uh, works of art across the country and across the world, as a matter of fact. They went all around the uh, western United States. They got 5,000 kids to paint on it. It's like a big, colorful collage. It, it, it's quite a thing. It's, supposed, it's just beautiful. <laughs> I want to be a doctor. I want to be a family therapist. When I grow up, I want to be a superstar. Big hopes from little kids, all inspired by a display of dreams cast in red, blue, and green. The Soaring Dreams Airship was also co-created, painted, and signed by kids. Ed Massey is founder of Portraits of Hope. He's in Los Angeles with more about the mission. Ed, good morning. Good morning, Darren. So you guys think big. A plane wasn't enough. You had to go for a blimp. <laughs> the larger the canvas, the better it is. <laughs> and that canvas filled by 5,000 different kids? Absolutely. We've worked with children from the southwest part of the United States in after school programs, in schools, and in pediatric care units as well. So this is really a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for all these children, the collaborative team effort with kids that may not actually get a chance to visit one another from Texas, from California, and all working together to accomplish really the unimaginable. And because all these different types of kids have different challenges, you, sometimes you have to come up with special types of paintbrushes and things like we're seeing right here. Absolutely. We've designed special brushes, the shoe brush which you just saw, which is designed for children who have no mobility, perhaps with their healthy painting hand, and we put mouth brushes with special fruit flavoring in their mouths. This way they can have a good taste as well. And telescope brushes that extend out to eight feet, almost like large hockey sticks for the kids to all be active participants. The, this, this airship used to have a different pattern on it, and we partnered with AmeriQuest, and AmeriQuest has been incredible, incredible partners to get the kids all involved in this truly once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Now, I bet anybody who's watching this segment right now has a big smile on their face. Besides that, what's the purpose of doing this? This gets kids actively engaged in thinking big. It's about dreaming big and going after your goals. All the kids, when we go into a facility, whether it's a pediatric care unit or into an after-school program, we, we ask the kids to think about their goals and that no hurdles are too large. And this is just one part of their whole learning experience growing up in later years to know that, you know what, they were part of a team effort. It's rare in life that a child can say that they were part of something that the whole world gets to see. Former NASA astronaut Sally Ride is unveiling the world's largest just airborne public art project. I'm sure you get approached all the time to uh, become sort of a spokeswoman for projects. Why was this one so important to you? Well, I really liked this project because it really it speaks to the kids. It really makes the kids part of a community, and it makes them see that the things that they can do can make a difference. And this is this is one goal. They've achieved it. Uh, just watching the airship fly lets them see that something tangible has come from their work, and it encourages them to set. Uh, set other goals for their future and uh, uh, and to believe that they can do whatever they want to do.